Stacks are a great way to have quick and easy access to folders that you might use often. Any folder can become a stack just by dragging it down to the right side of your dock, down here. I'm going to start by creating my own stack. I'm going to open Finder. I'm going to browse into my picture folder and into a particular folder that I've set aside with four beach photographs that a friend of mine sent me over email. I want to be able to access these pictures fairly frequently, but I don't want them in iPhoto because they're not mine, and I don't want to have to browse through my finder every time to get to this beach folder, because that's tedious. So I'm going to drag this down to the dock to add it as a stack. I'm going to click on this little folder icon here, hold down the mouse button, and drag it down to the right side of the dock, anywhere to the right of this crosswalk icon. I'm going to drag further over, I want it all the way over to the side by the trash can, and I'm going to let go. Now I'll close my finder window. If I click on this stack, it will expand to show me the four images inside my beach folder. Notice it's titled by the folder that they're inside. I can open it up and then view any one of these images simply by clicking on the image. I'll quit that one. Maybe I'll try another one. So for any folder that you use often, add it as a stack down at the bottom on your dock. Now, you can change how the stack will behave and how it will appear by right-clicking on the stack, or what we call in a Mac as secondary clicking. Hold down the control button on your keyboard and click one time on the stack. And instead of seeing the stack expand, you'll see a list of options like this. You can tell Snow Leopard how you want the stack to expand, if you want to view it as a fan, or as a grid, or as a list. You can say what the icon on the dock should look like, whether it's a stack or a folder. Look closely at the beach pictures at the bottom right now. I'm going to change this to folder, and you'll see that now it becomes a normal blue folder. I'm going to right click on it again, and change it back to stack. Now it shows the contents of it, even when it's collapsed. I'll right click again and this time I'll s tell it to view as a grid. Now when I click it, it appears as a grid instead of a single list. I'll control click one more time, change it to list. Now it just shows the four individual pictures that way. I'm going to change this back to fan. Great. I'll right click again. You can change how it's sorted as well. You can also just open the beach folder in a finder window if you want to, for example, move one of these or change it. You can also drag things directly out of a stack. So let's say I want this beach photograph here on my desktop. I can just click, drag it out of the stack, and drop it on the desktop. Or I could drag something directly out of here into the trash can. Or, I could even drag one of these out of the stack and directly onto my mail icon, thus sending a new message to someone. You can also drag things directly into a stack. For example, I'll take this image out, put it on the desktop. If I want to add it back into my stack, I just drag it back down onto the stack and let go. It works both ways, taking things in and out. You can also open in Finder by clicking this button at the top. To remove a stack from the dock, simply click on it and drag it off the dock. Poof, there it goes. So that's it for stacks. If you found this video helpful and you live in San Diego County, please don't hesitate to contact Interlaced for all your Apple needs, from setup to training to support. Thanks.